Hi, today we're going to be working on this. Uh, this is a HP Pavilion DV6000. Okay, as you can see, the colors uh, are messed up. Okay, the whites are pink and the black is green, and uh, things are not looking right. Okay, so let's take this laptop apart and see if we can get to the root of the problem. Okay, so uh, I started by plugging in an external monitor. As you can see, colors are perfect. Okay, so um, most probably not a graphics card. Uh, we're going to start checking um, the cable which connects the LCD to the motherboard. And uh, we'll connect in another screen to see if there is any change. Okay, so um, so far I've had no luck with this machine. Um, uh, what have I tried so far? Uh, first thing that I did, I replaced the. I tried another LCD screen. Um, same issue. Uh, then I replaced the the ribbon which connects the screen to the motherboard. Uh, exactly the same problem. So uh, it's boiling down to um, a GPU problem. Um, these models of laptop, the Pavilion GP6000, are quite famous for overheating and uh, GPU damage. So uh, the next step is remove the motherboard. Let's try and reflow the GPU and see if we have any luck. Okay, so once you remove these two screws here, you should be able to just lift up and break this connection here. Okay, remove these other two screws here from this connector here, from the expansion port. Okay. Um, we have there's a cable on the bottom of the motherboard to the power port, which just unplugs. And there is a plug here which goes to your inputs your, for your microphone and your headphones. There we go, we have the motherboard in hand. As you can see the cooler is full of dust, this is why it's overheated, okay. You really need to clean out your coolers once a year before the summer, make sure they don't overheat, okay. So here we have the CPU and uh, the GPU, the graphics processor unit sitting under here. Alright, so we'll remove this and we'll reflow this chip. <coughs>
when reassembling your cooling system make sure that you reapply new um, thermal compound clean out the old thermal compound completely because that will help with the cooling okay unplug your fan all right so as you can see the old thermal compound it's like very hot okay and uh, replace your thermal compound on this chip here just just sort of in the middle on the shiny part okay so uh, reflowing we cover it all in tin foil the whole board just leave the that chip exposed and um, we will slowly heat up the whole board and the surrounding area with the heat gun on low um, low heat for about a minute or so bring everything up to temperature and then on full heat uh, we will just blast this chip for 20-25 seconds around just moving the heat gun slowly around the chip and try and re uh, reconnect all the solder balls that are underneath this chip and then once we've done that put the heat gun back to uh, low heat and just sort of slowly let it cool down just over the area so that the motherboard does not cool down too quickly because we don't want the motherboard to flex and that will just break the the connections again okay so let's start the reflow okay so black and de decker uh, uh, heat gun two settings um, Let's start the reflow. Okay, so these heat sinks here have heated up, they'll hold the heat and they'll allow the, the motherboard to sort of cool down a little bit slower and then every now and again just give it a give it a blast on low heat just to let it cool down slowly. Don't touch the motherboard now. Um, wait till it's completely cold before you handle the motherboard. Okay, so now that we've finished the reflow, we'll put it back in the machine and see how it goes. Okay, so while the motherboard's cooling down, I'm just going to give a clean up to the cooling system. I just wanted to show you what I found inside. Okay, so these are the exits. Here and here. And if you have a look here, it's like an absolute carpet of dust. Okay. So the fans are working, but no air is passing through the heat sink here, so nothing's cooling down. So there's that one, and that one. So you can imagine, this, uh, this laptop was really overheating. Okay, and because of that little piece of dust there, And that little piece of dust there, because of that, your whole laptop could uh, get uh, destroyed beyond repair. So, I'll repeat it again. Get your laptop serviced once a year, before the summer season. Okay. Okay, so the motherboard's completely cool now. So, uh, let's uh, begin reassembling. So first of all, you're going to clean up the surface of your GPU and your CPU. Uh, put some fresh uh, thermal paste on the processor and some on the GPU.
Okay, so we're going to replace the, <coughs> the fan and the heating. You'll notice that on the each mounting screw has a number one, two, three, four, and one and two. So um, this is the order in which they want you to tighten up the, the screws. Okay, what I suggest is you do sort of one or two turns in the order that they want. Sort of like putting the wheel on, the, on a car. So that you get an even and flat connection to the... And just keep going around like that. Okay, don't forget to plug in your fan because that's on the bottom of the motherboard. That would be disastrous. Okay, so um, before we put it all back together, okay, we've still got quite a lot of screws and stuff to go here. Uh, let's just uh, power it on and see if the reflow has made any difference. <coughs> 